Live from Newman University, it's Tonight with James McDonald. Well, hello and welcome everyone to Tonight. I'm your host, James McDonald, and for all of those of you who don't know me, uh, you'll be glad you don't. If this is your first time watching, thank you for inviting me onto your screens and into your homes. It's great to be back in the studio. With spring break, we got a nice week's vacation, and as a bonus, the mask mandate has finally been lifted, even though none of the viewers noticed because we never wore them for the show anyway, but that's besides the point. This taught me to appreciate the little things in life, and that some people just look a little bit better with those on. I want to give a quick shout out to my new friends we interviewed on Studio Day. It was a huge success and our show received a lot of positive feedback. However, I did hear some chatter that they preferred radio over us more. Which is fine if you still get tucked in by your mommy because TV is for big boys and girls. But in all seriousness, huge thank you to everyone that attended. We had a lot of fun and we hope to see you guys in the fall. Well, I'm all about giving and receiving gifts. As a matter of fact, when I was younger, the best gift I've ever gotten was a Nintendo Wii. But all this week here at Newman, it's Charter Week, so we're all about giving here. But on the topic of gifts, a woman was left perplexed after her boyfriend bought concert tickets for him and his girlfriend as a gift and then asked to pay him back for them. I guess it's true. The best things in life aren't free. Should have taken advice from me, you know. One time a girl told me that if I bought her a stupid gift, she would burn it. Rough. The joke's on her. I bought her a candle. Yeah. Well, NFL cornerback Richard Sherman was arrested for crashing his SUV in a construction zone and breaking into his in-law's suburban Seattle home. I guess since he can't make it into the NFL, he can always go back to selling tacos on a stick at the Groovy Smoothie. Uh, we, have a risk, uh, excuse me, we have a recent picture of Sherman, and this is the same face I make when I hear someone curse on 98.5 and when someone says they watch Euphoria just for the plot. Well, speaking of tacos, Taco Bell recently launched its first ever subscription service nationwide. And soon enough, you can catch us being subscription only. So while we're at it, make sure to subscribe to our Patreon to get all the exclusives. Right, AJ? Oh, of course, James. <laughs> we <laughs> well, can't spoil anything. They have to pay for it. I know. They're going to have to pay for that. That's all right. Well, we have a great show for you tonight. But for now, let's head over to AJ for tonight's entertainment report. For tonight's entertainment, we have, in a recent poem penned by Kanye West, he claims he was murdered, which is ironic because another thing that was murdered of Kanye's was his marriage to Kim Kardashian. Last week, we reported about Aaron Rodgers and Shailene Woodley. However, now, they're trying to figure things out. But the only thing Rodgers can't figure out is where he's going to get his medical information if Joe Rogan gets canceled. Popular dating app Tinder has rolled out a new background check feature, but not because of the Tinder swindler, to protect others and the copycats. James, I can't believe you're not on Spotify because you're the hottest new single. And finally, Grimes and Elon Musk secretly welcome their second child in December. Only this time, their daughter will be named. And that's what I got for you on tonight's entertainment. Well, thank you, AJ, for that report. Well, let me see here. The old uh, track phone here tells me that uh, it's time to start here. An official hello, hello. Uh, it's time for our next guest, who is a musical maestro, entertainer, and profound professor of communications and digital media. He can tickle the keys, he can tickle your funny bone, and of course, he can tickle his way all the way to your heart. You can listen to him on That's Jazz, the longest running radio show on 98.5 WNUW, Wednesdays from 2 to 3. Please welcome Dr. Glass on the show. Dr. Woo! Glass, thank yeah. You. Thank you. Thank you. I think there's shows that are, are more than an hour. You said mine is the longest running radio show. It's only 60 minutes. <laughs> is that, I, I know what you meant. Though, I know. James. Thank yeah, you, Doctor. Yeah. I actually oh. have a I actually have a joke for you because you're always uh, you're really? always telling jokes. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, what, what? I got harassed at the bank the other day. Yes. So I told them to leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> How you like that oh, one, Doctor? I like, James, James, I like, I use that one I like it next... very much. I went to the doctor the other day. and yeah. I said, Doc. You know, because I was late for class and all that. Did you know you hear about that, James? <laughs> and I said, I think I'm losing my memory. 
And he said, how long have you had this problem? Uh, I said, what problem? <laughs> <laughs> no, anything? That was good. That, that was, was good, nice. Dr. Going Glad. right down the line, AJ, and the ball is passed to you. Let's uh, have a joke, AJ. Unfortunately, I don't have anything that falls into Rise's value, so back to James. How we'll, do you like that? We'll no save joke? that for after the show, AJ. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> he's a good joke teller, though. Uh, no, he's, he's just being shy. Have you seen him yeah. on New Game Plus, Dr. Glass? I mean, oh, he's, I he's never phenomenal. Miss, I never miss that show. Oh. I never watch it, but I never miss it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess we should. Uh, At least he's honest. <laughs> I guess we should talk about the uh, the elephant in the room here. We oh, had you on. I didn't even notice. <laughs> we had you on for the uh, for the pilot episode. Yes. And we had uh, just a couple uh, lighting mistakes that we had to fix, but we're so so happy to to have you back on. Yeah, for uh, real. Well, you are. Uh, I'm not getting my hopes up this time. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to write to all my friends and tell them to watch. It may not be on again. It was very hurtful, James. Oh, it was very hurtful. I know. But no, I'm just teasing. I'm just, I wasn't going to bring it up. You well, brought I figured, it up. I figured you might have brought it up, so I figured we'd, we'd right. get that out of the way. But you're, you're such a, a, a funny person. Why, you, thank you. You teach every class with a smile. We knew we had to get you on. And we also figured it might be a great, you know, little extra credit opportunity. <laughs> Just, uh, just throwing that out there. You You'll know. have to have me on a few more times. <laughs> I don't think one a little extra credit is going to help much. <laughs> well, your students call you Dr. Joe Glass, yes. but you, you're also known by uh, your stage name, yes. M.T. Glass. M.T. Glass, that's right, yes. And I was wondering, uh, I was thinking about this uh, on the, the drive here, mm -hmm. M.T. Glass. Are you a person who has the glass half empty or the, <laughs> or the glass half full? You were thinking about this on the drive here? Uh, yeah. Well, you James. really prepare for these shows. Uh, I mean, he was, on, he was on a roll with the one oh, joke. Yeah. Spotify was down, you know. So. It's starting so far in advance. <laughs> <laughs> might say longer than he takes on some of the reports he writes for class, right? <laughs> he does those once he gets here. This, at least he thought about this on the way to camp. At, at least he knows priorities now. Class. But, but I'm certainly a half full half kind full. of guy. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm very optimistic. And, and it comes from our faith. You know, it comes from our faith. Yep, I'm a believer in the... The good news, gospel, yeah. Just like that, uh, that monkey song, I'm the a monkeys, believer. Yeah. I'm a believer. And the Smash yeah. Mouth cover and Shrek, right? It, well, yes, exactly. Yeah. I was with you as far as the monkey. <laughs> exactly. And all the rest, I guess, is too new for me, you know? <laughs> you ever seen Shrek on the bus? <laughs> Shrek, I have seen Shrek. Okay. Because that was popular when Meg and Matt were little, you know, so those are the kind of movies we saw. Yeah, I like Shrek. It's a great show. How about, yeah. how about uh, did you see uh, Shrek 2, Shrek the 3rd? I Shrek, I, I, what is it? Shrek, ever, Shrek ever Shrek after? Four. Shrek Arama? <laughs> Shrek Alopolis? Huh? Exactly. What, what That's they, a new one coming out, actually. <laughs> Shrek a Palooza? Shrek. What if somebody's not this coming? No, I think I just saw Shrek. All right, yeah. all right, that's yeah. fair. That's enough. a good way to end on. Yeah, was it a good yeah. one? All right, yeah. That's fair and enough. And Toy Story, I, do, I think I saw three of those. I think also there's four out, Dr. I know. You're, yeah. you're I a little know. bit behind, but... But I've been told you don't want to see four. It's sad. You know what? I didn't even see four. Neither did I. But I heard it kind of wraps it all up a little bit, like, uh, a, like a burrito. So I, can't, <laughs> so I can't take a recommendation from you guys to see it or not see it? I say no. Does, no has anybody yeah. in the audience seen it? And we're so getting, we got a yes. We do have a yes. Up. We do thumbs have a yes. Thumbs up, it's worth seeing. All right. I think so. All right. Okay. We'll take it. We'll all take right. it. We'll take all the right. thumbs up. Well, I know you always love to talk about your days uh, in Catholic television. Real to real? Well, I don't need to talk about it. <laughs> you want to know. Yeah, I was very fortunate, you know, that I was involved with Catholic uh, media, so newspaper and radio and television. And by the way, I didn't appreciate the swipe you took at radio. Uh, <laughs> like radio better than uh, television, and uh, television was for big boys. Is that what you said? Radio. It was, it was so long like ago. That. I don't think we remember. still getting tucked in by their mommies, I believe. I was mean, the, some, uh, sometimes, uh, uh -huh. you know, with mm -hmm. St. Patrick's Day, sometimes my dad tucks me in. He usually sings me a lullaby, but with St. Patrick's Day, it's like 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Ooh, 99 man, you bottles could be asleep by 97 or something. It, aren't exactly. You? Yeah. The way right. you sing, exactly. James. Or the way he sings, at least pretend you're asleep <laughs> by 97. <laughs> but yet, I like radio. I'm a ham uh, radio operator, a general class license holder, and uh, I'm uh, my official call is N2 HBP, November 2, Hotel Bravo Papa. So I've always had a love for radio, and I think that is my first love. But uh, I understand where you're coming from with TV. But even to this day, I like uh, watching uh, baseball on the radio. Uh, mm. I say I saw it on the radio in my mind's eye. I love that. But I did. I worked in Catholic communications. Thanks for asking. And I hosted Reel to Reel on Channel 17 here for four years. And I started a program uh, 
called the Catholic Corner and uh, hosted that for four years, and then it went on to run for 33 years. 33 I mean, like, years. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it got picked up and could be seen nationally at uh, some points. And uh, oh, they say the continental U.S. and the Virgin Islands. I wow. always like that. They used to see throughout the continental U.S. <laughs> And the Virgin Islands. And the Virgin Islands. Yeah. You're, uh, you're, you're, don't uh, ask me where they are. Don't, <laughs> ask me, don't ask me to find them on a map or how they got that name. But nevertheless, that's what you could you could see the Catholic. Court. Yeah. That's and I amazing. wrote a column, a weekly column in the Catholic press. So it was really great. And I got to go around the world with that kind of uh, ministry. Where's I, they went to Rome, all these Catholic hotspots, you know, the Holy Land and Rome and Paris. And we did shows from there and columns and things. It was great. Great. Yeah. What was your, what was your favorite place that you've traveled to, Dr. Glass? Home. <laughs> Home to Mary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's my favorite place. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, being in, in Catholic media, uh, you, you grew up uh, Catholic. Yes. And I was wondering. Well, as much as I grew up. <laughs> Some people would say, he's never grown up. Yet, but uh, You're still a kid. You're always a, a little bit a I speck of a kid at heart, I, I right? hope so. Mm -hmm. I hope so. Is there a child uh, childhood memory that really, really sticks out to you? In terms of media and all that sort of thing? Uh, or, mean, or just yeah. in general? Well, I'll stay with the theme here, and it was uh, uh, listening to shortwave radio. There was an old uh, shortwave radio that my dad had. It was like Navy surplus, and it was up on a shelf in a closet, and it uh, didn't work. And uh, together we got that going, and I, I, I think that started my love of electronics and tinkering and soldering and all. But we got that thing going and strung a uh, copper wire out the uh, window of my bedroom out to a tree, and I think when we first fired that thing up and signals came in, that was a wonderful memory. It was really uh, life changing in a way. Oh you know? man, yeah, that's yeah. great. AJ, do you have any uh, any childhood memories there? Uh, my childhood was kind of ruined the day I was born. <laughs> <laughs> was it a rough childhood? Yeah, yeah, mine too. I was short. I was short. I was two years old until my feet touched the ground. Really? Uh, it was a, really? Yeah. It was a, yeah. I was so ugly. The doctor slapped my mother. <laughs> Did you know that? My parents used to leave my carriage in towaway zones. Really? Uh, how am I doing, AJ? You're doing great. All right. It's, it's you, know, you better cut me off. How much time we got left, James? Because we, we I have... can keep going. Right? <laughs> hey, you're caring, you're caring enough for the both of us. Yeah, I'm, I was born to a, a small uh, a little town just outside of Wedlock. You know that one? Huh? I've been no? there a couple okay. times, actually. You know, people say that, right? I was born, it's a small town just outside of New York, or a small town just outside of Philly. How'd you like that line? I like that one. Do you like that line? I'm going to have to You that can that have that. Line. I give you that line. Oh, You're thank on you. television. Because really, it's not my kind of line. Yeah. But you mm -hmm. can use it. You can use it. It'll work for you. Yeah. So you take we'll that try one. We'll you take to, that we'll one. We'll have to yeah. try it. Well, no. you, have, um, you have so many so many stories and so many memories here. I was wondering, we have some uh, some photos here. Uh oh. And I was wondering if you could kind of uh, explain what's going on in these photos, Dr. Glass. All right. <laughs> Hopefully, we didn't get any of these. Nothing incriminating. Your... Nothing incriminating, Dr. Photos. Glass. Photos. I told you, I'm a radio guy. You don't want to see me. Let's see. So, the, fir ah! the first one is this one here. Uh, what's, what's going on here in this photo? That's it. I recognize that guy. That's M.T. Glass. I played at the Bavarian House in Red Bank, New Jersey. And it's funny you'd have that photo. Because, um, you know, it was uh, elegant and very expensive. I couldn't afford to eat there. I only ate the food there because I played there. It sat 50 people, and it really catered to an upscale crowd. Uh, it was in Red Bank, New Jersey, very near Rumson. Nevertheless, it sat 50 people, and I played on the weekends. And for like, I don't know, you know, 44 weeks out of the year, I wore a tuxedo and played lovely cocktail <laughs> piano music. And for six weeks out of the year, I wore this with the leader hosen and the hat with the feather, <laughs> and we played um pop pop music. You know, oh, the Shana, oh, the Shana. And so that's what we did. And that's a picture of me playing at Tops during Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest. Oct All right. Oktoberfest nice. with a K. Oktoberfest. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. Let's get that one more time. All right. How about this one here? Uh oh. Uh, this was, uh, we saw this. This was from 2008. This is wow. This is like a. How to embarrass you. <laughs> Start putting you on the spot. Do you get a it's lot of content. guests on here? Are people starting to say, no thanks? Uh, pictures, pictures. I mean, we don't have an out. audience anymore, right, so ahead. we're going to lose guests soon Oh, uh, that's, there you are. What year would that be, I wonder, right? The other one was from 97 or 98, I think, right? The, from the Bavarian House. I don't know, what would this be? 2006, Tonight Just Right. Well, that's the album cover there. And that's all original tunes, wow. and some of them you can hear on WNUW 98.5. I usually close my show with Good Night, mm -hmm. an M.T. Glass original. I'm a big fan of that one. M.T. wrote it, performed, and no real instruments were harmed 
in the making <laughs> of that song. All done on the synthesizer, you know, on the keyboard. Yeah. And, and do you so, sing as well? I see a microphone Well, I, no, no. <laughs> in fact, that picture was taken in the old radio station. That was the old WNEW before it was WNEW. It was just Newman Radio because it was only over the web. That's the old studio over in the uh, Bachman building. And when it first got started, it looked like that. Uh, so that's where that picture is taken. I, I, there's a few vocals. I think there's three vocals on there, uh, but they're just for demo purposes. You hope somebody who actually can sing would pick one of those up. <laughs> you, like tonight, just right, could be a little opening number for a cabaret performer. But no, I, I, I don't sing. I croon, and it's, uh, you know, no, it's not, it's, you don't want to hear it. No, you, no. you got to get your, the, the pipes warmed up for that, right? Oh, you could, you could overheat them. And nothing, <laughs> it's not going to work. No, it just doesn't work. No. <laughs> And we got one more picture here. Oh, thank God it's only one more. <laughs> so uh, far, I've been able to get through the first two, right? Well, let's see what this one is. You're actually the, the first person that we've had on the show who's played at the White House, which is, uh, oh, yeah. which is fantastic here. <laughs> yes, there I am uh, at the White House, and it was uh, really a, an honor. As you can imagine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like your Emmy on your desk. Exactly. You know, what yes. an honor. And then for me to play at the White House. Mm -hmm. So here we are, an, an Emmy winning performer and, and someone who's played at the White House. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I should just clarify it's not the White House most people think of, it's not where the president lives. It's a nice restaurant in Morristown, yeah, New Jersey. Yeah. So that was a played at the White House. Uh, you know, I don't have to give all the details. I, mean, I played yeah. can, can in the you White House. <laughs> you have an Emmy. <laughs> it's not yours. And the White House was not the one where the president lives. But who, we don't have to get down in the weeds we with it. We Dr. Well, how, how dare you accuse us of not Let's just say you have an Emmy, and I've played at the White House. <laughs> and and leave now it at we, that. we have to cut to this commercial. You know, <laughs> exactly. We don't have to get in the weeds here, do we? No, no, no. absolutely. And this no. is the perfect time to, to segue sort of into a commercial here with our all game right. here. Uh, it's time for the Best Friends Challenge. Here's how this game works. All of us will take a turn drawing a question from the Best Friends mug right here. Don't you like this, the Dr. The Best Glenn? Friends mug. This mm -hmm. is the Best Friends mug here. Life is, life is good. It's life, your motto. Life is your good. Motto. I know. I know. No, Freaky Freaky. No, it's not. Freaky Freaky. Let's yeah, be honest. No, my motto is why stand when you can sit? Why sit when you can lay <laughs> and down? And here we... <laughs> Does that work? Right. Perfect. But then, I like life is good. That's good. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um... So we will read a, a question out loud, and uh, us, along with our studio audience here, will try to guess the correct answer by writing it down on this notepad. Dr. Glass, are you ready? I am. Do I need a pen or a piece of paper? Because I yes, have, have a pen. I have a pen. Look, I brought Oh, one. wow. Yes. I'm You're professional. Are, this was given to me by Kina Ahmad when she was uh, editor of the Jap. So wow. She graduated and uh, gave me a thank you gift. How do you like that? That meant the world to me that a student would give me a gift. I'll, just, <laughs> I'll keep that in mind for when just I graduate. Just mentioning that a student gave me a gift. And it meant the world to me. Just throwing that out there for you two students. <laughs> when do you graduate? Wait, want me to get you a little list of some things? I've got a couple of months, so. What's, you got to hurry up with that one. What's on your wish list? Dr. No, I'm teasing. Oh, okay. I'm teasing. Right. But I'll get you a nice little journal for that pen. What? <laughs> wasn't that nice of her, though? So a shout out to Keena if you're listening. Keena, shout out. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to you. Well, here's your whiteboard, Dr. Glass. All right, Glass. okay. Uh, can you pass that down to AJ there? Thank yeah. you. And I think we have a. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe this is a trap. <laughs> Take this one. Yeah. Maybe these are the exploding whiteboards. Yeah. Let's see here. Right. We don't have the budget, Dr. Glass. That's Don't right. even worry. All right. I thought we had a pen. Would it be possible to borrow your pen, Dr. Glass? Yes, it, yes, it would. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, right. this is a nice, this yes. is very nice, uh, very yes, nice pen. Yes, yes, All right. So let's see here. Our first question is your guilty pleasure. So that could be like anything, like a, like a that movie could be, song. Yeah, that could be, that could mm. be anything. And maybe. I write this out. So yeah, I think we write down our answer, then we have to guess like, okay. what we think it is. Oh. That's, yes, that's great. Oh, 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 you're not supposed to see that. No, no, no. Oh, I we'll see. Keep it, oh, we'll keep okay. it, uh, we'll keep it hidden. Why am I writing this? I know what my guilty <laughs> pleasure is. All right. Come on, James. Real unprofessional here. I know, I'm a slow writer. Um, all right. Uh, Dr. Glass, since yes. you're the guest, would you like us to try to guess your guilty pleasure first? All right. Yeah. AJ? I mean, I feel like this, this is a very broad topic. Dr. Mm -hmm. Glass is a very complex person. I got him fooled. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to say public speaking, the class. Public speaking? The class? Yeah. Teaching it? Yeah. Is a guilty pleasure? Uh-huh. Well, it's a pleasure. If you see some of the speeches not... there... It could be kind of kind of rough. No, no, no. It's a pleasure. It's not a guilty pleasure. No. But, All right. 
Thanks for trying. <laughs> That's one wrong answer. We go to our next panel. Yes, go ahead, Dr. Dr. Glass. Yes. I'm going to say, I know you're a jazz person, but I'm going to say you try to keep uh, this kind of thing hidden. I think you might be a huge fan of pop music. <laughs> No, no. Maybe, I, maybe I oversimplified this thing. Uh, so I right. just tell you? I think so. How about, how about anybody from the audience here? Any guesses? Everybody's looking at each other. I, like I just put down oh. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Reese's yeah. Peanut Butter Cups. I, I love them. Fair enough. Are, are, they, I, are they in your office? No, but if they're around somewhere, I eat too many of them. <laughs> yeah, they, I like them. I, yeah, but so I try to, like I'll say to Mary, don't buy any Reese's Peanut Butter because I... I'll eat them. I, I'm not. I don't have great willpower in front of a Reese's peanut butter cup. Neither do I. I was at Wawa the other day. They have a Reese's peanut butter cup with like potato chips in it now. Have you seen? I that? heard about no, that. No, I haven't seen yeah. that. No, no, no. Well, and I will tell you. I don't want to take up too much time, but I really prefer like the uh, Reese's Easter eggs now that they're uh, Easter season. They're coming. in season. They're in I season. I think they're better. The chocolate mm. peanut butter ratio is better in the eggs. Than it is in the cups. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You heard it here first. So that's, <laughs> my, that's my guilty pleasure. All right. All right. Uh, should we try to guess AJ's now, Dr. Glass? Yeah, well, I don't know. There could be a lot. <laughs> I know. He's got, he's got can, a lot of skeletons. got a lot of skeletons. We can do a top 10 list of AJ's. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, what do we go for here, AJ? What, uh, we'll I'll, I'll, I'll say, I'll say music. All right. Yeah. It's in the music uh -huh. category. That was nice. See, I should have yeah. said that. Food category. Mm. You can tell this is my first time. Sure. Yeah. All right, music. So I would say listening to Sinatra. Uh, I'm not guilty about that. <laughs> You're not guilty about that. I'm a very proud Sinatra listener. All right, okay. All right. I don't know if you get this, Dr. Glass. James, you might. Your guilty pleasure. Mm -hmm. Well, I was going to say listening to Ween, but I think you're very, oh, you're very proud of that. Even prouder than Sinatra. <laughs> <laughs> Something that you enjoy listening to. Yeah. I'm going to say like some kind of... I think you told me this before, but I'm going to say, like, punk music? No. No. <laughs> it's not punk music. Uh, it, the answer is Weezer. Weezer, really? Yeah. Weezer. All right. Uh -huh. All right. You can tell me after the show who the hell Weezer is. <laughs> all right. But that's good, AJ. I live in the sun, <laughs> Dr. Talking Glass about? Right. What is he talking all right, about? You know, right. Buddy Holly uh, song? Not, Buddy the, not, Holly, not the man. Not Buddy. the man. The song. No, 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 no. I guess not. Uh, speaking of Buddy Holly, and I hope you realize the connection there, Riding home yesterday, they were on the radio talking to Don McLean. It, to, this year is the 50th, 5-0, anniversary of American Pie oh. being number one on the... I love that movie. I'm, not that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to talk to you from now on. <laughs> and let me tell you, you're on pretty thin ice, too. <laughs> 50 years ago, that song that's crazy. was number one, Don McLean. Well, you know what I always say, Dr. Glass. And you know a lot of Buddy Holly, that's inspired it. The crazy yeah, song. yeah. Mm. If, I, if, I, if I'm ever on the radio and I need a bathroom break, that's the song I'm playing, American Pie. It's like oh, eight, sure. eight minutes long, right? Well, eventually. eventually. <laughs> You're in the bathroom for eight minutes, James. Yeah. <laughs> the one that was initially released was only like three minutes. Mm. You know, then uh, they just cut it down and released it as a three-minute song, unbeknownst to Don McLean. But then FM stations, because they were very separate at that, were playing the full version. Mm. And then people said, hey, we want the full version. So that made its way over to AM. But it took a while. Yeah, it took a while. All right, and how about, how about for mine? I'll give you a All category, right. too, since we're doing that. Okay. Uh, movies, and AJ, Movie, might, okay. AJ might get this one, actually. Movies. Uh, hmm. A guilty pleasure. Uh, I'm going to say it's a Disney movie. Do I get a yes or a no? That's a no. <laughs> eh, I'm eliminated. <laughs> All, right. All right. There we are. Hmm. Can, can, I, can I give you an even better hint? It's in the, it's in the comedy genre. Comedy genre. Comedy genre. Oh. Sunshine Boys. Oh. I think I know. AJ? I think I do. Is it Grown Ups too? Yes, very, very close. Uh, Adam Sandler movies in, in general are my... Really? Yeah. How about that? I have that on DVD, AJ. I'm, I'm ashamed. Grown Ups yeah. Have you ever right. seen Grown Ups 2? No. You don't want to no. see it, Dr. Glass. No, it's not my kind of movie. Definitely not. No. All right. It's, All right. Uh, it's Adam Sandler, Kevin James. David right. Spade. <laughs> David Spade, Chris Rock. All right. And Rob Schneider. Well, it's got to be and, funny uh, if you put all those people together. You think. It should be funny. Yeah? No, it's not? No. No. <laughs> all right. You'll have to see it for yourself, Dr. Glass. Oh, no. Yeah, after that hard <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Mary and I will be watching that tonight. I think I think we'll see Toy Story 4 before we see that. It's a, good, uh, it's a good date night movie. <laughs> well, I think. Because, you know, how long has been since I've been on a date? Yeah, I <laughs> Mary and I have been married 28 years. Wow. How do you like wow. that? What's the, what's the secret? Well, I'll tell you the secret, and I learned this from a fella 
uh, I was playing at an anniversary party. They were married 50. I was playing for their 50th anniversary, and I asked him the same thing. What's the secret? And he said, when we got married, he said, I decided, and I told my wife, that I would make all the big decisions, and she would make all the small decisions. And he said, so far in 50 years, there's been no big decisions. <laughs> Like I like that one, Dr. Dr. Glass, you're killing she, it today. She was making all the decisions. In other words, I'll slow it down for AJ. You see what I did? She was making all the decisions. Oh. And that was the key to the happy Because there's no big decisions. Right, I, I right, get it. Right, right, <laughs> yeah. cool. all right. Yeah. All right. We might need a new co-host after that. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I think we have time for one more here. Um, oh, no. That's the worst <laughs> news I've heard. <laughs> 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 Let's hold together. Why? <laughs> We're gonna do another one. I think I think I'm actually hearing it's time to wrap up. Actually, so. oh thank you. Yeah, you're hearing it from me. It's time to wrap up. I say, no, I'm throwing my voice. It's time to wrap up. Oh, no, whatever you want to do. Yeah, you're the I think, host. I think it is. I think I'm hearing mm -hmm. our our amazing amazing producer here in my ear. Um, so that's all the time we have for tonight. If you'd like to be a part of our studio audience, please email our amazing amazing producer Des Valdez. His email is new media at newman.edu so sorry to mike mccrossin uh we don't we ran out of time uh but we have a great future episode in the works for you until then have a great night be well and be safe and happy birthday to newman's president dr domes good night yeah. Woo. Yeah. Freaky, freaky. <laughs>